Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I love Wednesdays because it's the day that we do um, inside of this business, this online health and fitness uh, side income business that I get to do and, and get to live in my passion with. We do a team training, team meeting where we get together and share ideas. We have an amazing guest today uh, that's going to come share some things with us. So I'm super excited about that. But um, today I uh, started off my day really well. got my personal development in. Uh, I'm reading a great book. I'm going to share some thoughts from that book. Got in um, a hard, hard workout. I'm still a little bit red, still a little bit sweaty from that. And uh, I'm drinking, um, this is my fourth water. So uh, I'm hitting some goals. I'm working on some goals and staying on track. Uh, it's the 10th day of this year and I'm working on that. So I feel really good and I want to share some things with you. Uh, good morning, Chris, Jason, Eddie. I see you guys. Eddie, I'm going to shoot you a text back here right after this video. Uh, but I'm going to talk about uh, one of my best friends lives in New York City. I don't live in New York City, uh, but maybe he's experienced this throughout the, the past. Um, uh, he's the chief in New York City of the, of the police, as a matter of fact. But I was thinking this morning uh, as I study and read on how to improve myself and what's going on in my life. How can I improve myself, um, my kids, my wife, my family? Uh, the people around me, and then my business, and, and I'm really uh, focusing on that. And and sometimes it can seem overwhelming, and it may seem overwhelming for you even to control and take care of what you have inside of just you. And then you got this spouse to take care of, and kids. And if you're running a business like I am, it, it's got to expand further than that. And it can feel overwhelming from time. So I'm going to share with you guys uh, this small, simple concept that's going to help you out. And it comes from a theory that was developed in 1982 in New York City. So uh, to give you a little backstory, that's story time, so buckle up. In the 1980s and 1990s, there was a rising trend of crime in New York City. And they were spending a ton of money trying to figure this out and, and sending out extra police work and police force and police efforts to control this um, rising trend. And throughout that, there, was, there, there seemed to be no fix. It wasn't getting better and the trend was continuing to rise of of robberies, beatings, and, and the sort. So uh, what happened is, like I said, in 1982, they came up, or it was later called this, was called the broken window theory. And I'm gonna share with you guys how this theory can help you in your life. But the broken uh, window theory um, said that, um, or noticed and, and recognized that the more uh, graffiti that there was and broken windows, like if there was an abandoned building with a broken window, uh, there was going to be, the rest of the windows would soon be broken out and there would be more crime muggings and, and car thefts in that area. So they wanted to see if it worked in reverse. So what they did is they started, they had to start simple. As I tell the story, I want you to think about your life, your specific life and where you could start simple. So what they did in this case, um, in, as I share with this, is in this year, what they did is they started simple and they went in and they started with just the subway cars and they, the, they um, you know, went to the city and whatnot and said, hey, this is how we're gonna fight crime. We're gonna go into the subway cars, we're gonna clean up the graffiti off the subway cars, we're gonna fix them up, we're gonna make the subway look nice, we're gonna paint the walls down inside of the subway, and, and we're gonna see what that does. So they began to do that. So um, it's, it's funny, but the, the city officials and, and um, people in the city that were against this, because that's gonna take tax dollars, they, were, they kind of thought of it as like, okay, like scrubbing the graffiti off subway cars is not, it's not gonna be fixing the muggings, the robberies, and all of that stuff. It's gonna be like scrubbing the deck of the Titanic as the, the Titanic is sinking. That's the way they kind of looked at it. Uh, but what happened in this case is that as they cleaned uh, one car at a time and began to clean the walls and take the graffiti off the walls of the subway, they saw that the beatings and the robberies began to decline. So after the sub, they, they noticed that and saw that and recognized that and they focused on that aspect, fixed that and it began to rise, that began to decline. So after that, they moved up out of the subway into the city, began to clean up the graffiti, began to fix the broken windows. And what happened with that is as they did that, the crime rate began to, the crime, the muggings, the beatings, and the robberies all began to decline. Uh, and that was the it, that was the, the um, solution to that problem that they had been looking for previously 
in spending more money and putting out more police work um, and police effort and time into that. So the small point that I want to give you guys about this lesson in history, because we can always learn from history, is that small successes lead to major achievements. So if you're feeling overwhelmed in your life right now with whatever it is that you're going through, get it that we've all been there. I've been there. Uh, I won't recap the whole thing, but I got to a point where I was so stressed out taking on so many responsibilities that I had to cut some things out of my life, really find what was truly enjoy like joyful, that brought me joy and happiness and excitement to my life. And I had to focus on that and focus on meditation. And now I feel amazing. And it's everything around me is beginning to, I see everything around me beginning to improve. So my challenge to you guys is to recognize and realize that your small successes, the small daily actions that you do every single day are going to lead to major achievements over time. I know it's going to seem like at times like you're scrubbing the deck of a sinking Titanic ship like the people in New York City thought as they began to clean the subway cars in New York in the early 1980s and early 1990s. But I believe it. I believe it'll happen for you. I believe that great things are in store for you and your life as you begin to master those small things and clean up those small things in your life that you know you need to fix, you need to clean, and need to change. And as you do that, your life will begin to take a turn for the better. I love you guys. Have an incredible Wednesday. And if this helps you or helps somebody that, that you know that might be going through something, please share with them. Have an incredible day. Peace.